Sam Wall with Ted Poli live at Poli's Pool House. Yeah! Woo! I think we have a guest. Ted, this is a cool place you got. Sam, it's good to oh. see you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. This is this is Rick. He does security for me. Hey, Rick. How's it going? Anyway, right. so we're here for an interview. Yeah, I thought so. So you're doing that big world tour, the one more lap around. How's that all going? It's been awesome. Oh, England, fun. Scotland, Wales, Ireland. Um, it's been awesome. It was acoustic, and I'll be going out doing some electric legs. I'll be uh, this year as I'm back after the pandemic. It's great to be back, and um, you know, it, it's yeah. just it's just going great. I. I you know, Rick is, is doing security yeah. and I'm rocking the world yeah. and Sam is in my pool and it's just great. Is he going to be here like the entire time or? Who? Rick. Oh, oh, Rick! I'm so used to, this is what Rick does. Wherever I go, yeah, he, nice. he, he's here to keep you safe from me, actually. You, you think it's all right if you, 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 feel, uh, you feel safe with Sam here, Rick? You think we can? Uh... I'll keep an eye on him. All right, all right. We'll keep an eye on him. Anyway, here we are. Sam Wall, special remote yeah. broadcast from Polly's Pool House with Rick on security. All right, we'll be right back after these messages. Please support your local no-kill animal shelters. Yes! So thanks for having me over again, Ted. Thanks for coming. I know you had a, a four-hour drive, a little detour. Uh, you oh, were going for a burger. Good. How was your burger? Burger was pretty good. Good, yeah. You said, better, yeah, we'll do a little appetizer. Shake Shack, I've never been there. I heard it's great, and you drove two hours out of your way. And what was the first thing I said? Bring me something to eat. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I, mean, I told you it was going to be a little soggy. Yeah, that's all right. I'm glad to have you here. Yeah. So, now that you're here, what do you think of the place? I think it's a pretty nice place. So, yeah. how long have you been putting all this together? Oh, man, my whole life. <laughs> no, we usually actually do a lot of charity work. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of parties. We do some charities for the animal shelters. Yeah. We raise a lot of money here. Um, that's my favorite thing to do at Polly's Pool House. We rehearse right here over my head. That's my back line. Yep, this is where it all happens before we get on the great flying birds and go around to other you know countries and we yeah. sing for you. But this is where we rehearse and, and uh, this is you know this is our day here. It's very tough here at Polly's Pool House, but we do it all for you. And Sammy right here. He's awesome. Yeah. Welcome. So how many countries would you say that you hit? Last year, you started naming some of them. This year, I think I'm uh, about eight of them. I did England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, um, uh, the Dominican Republic on the cruise, came back, went to Belgium, yeah. so a lot, however many that is, plus the good old US of A, we count as a country, eight or nine so far. I'll be going back to do Hard Rock Hell in August in uh, Sheffield, England. It's going to be awesome. So back to England, more visas and passports, more frequent flyer miles, things like that. You and know where uh, going? Or? Sorry? Do you have rewards going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I use them up every time because there's nothing like, you know what? I, I will spend hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars in, in points just to, you know, sit and sleep on the way home yeah. in first class. And there's nothing like the buyer's remorse. When you land, I mean, when you're on there, it's the greatest thing in the world. You're like, oh, man, fuck everybody in the back. Oh, this debate, the unwashed masses. The, this is just like, oh, Mr. Poli, would you like ice cream to guess if I'm sleeping? Put it in my mouth. I want everything. You get to the airport. Oh, no. You can circle around another 20 minutes. This is luxurious. Um, but but really, um, the second that you land is the same exact feeling as when you used to watch pornography on a VHS and it was over and you couldn't press eject fast enough. It's horrible. You land and you say, oh my God, I spent all my money and you end up with nothing. And so the worst buyer's remorse in the world is upgrading to first class because when it's over, it's over. But again, we do it all for you and everybody around the world. So. So when you get in a fully private plane, then that should be the next stop. It should be. I was on the way, and then we had a little thing called the pandemic, so we put it in mothballs. We had the heavy. We had the Learjet. Um, you know, my, my avionics engineer, um, Rick over here, that uh, does security for me and occasionally. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Anyway. Uh, Rick, I'll take one when we get a chance. <laughs> One from my man right here, Sammy. We, again, we do it all for you at Poli's Pool House. Please support your local no-kill animal shelters. No matter how much fun we're having today, that's serious, and I love you for doing that. And that's the main reason why I want to do Sam's show, because he's a good guy, and he's got good followers and good viewers, and I know you're going to send a couple of bucks and help out the animals. Not to me. Yep, send them to your local no-kill animal shelter. Back to you. Well, so how long have you been doing Because we do rescue work, too. We foster... We foster yeah. lots of dogs, yeah. So how long have you been doing that? Oh, my whole life. I've got a lot of rescues. I've got uh, seven rescues living around us right now. And um, I know I do all my best to support um, the Pennsylvania shelters as well 
has about 400 animals in uh, Manta, Ecuador. Yeah, I have a, wow. a shelter there with my logo on it, a pony shelter, and uh, I do my best down there. They do really good work. I've got about 400 dogs in Ecuador, which I can't wow. wait to go down there. Hopefully, get a show in there as well, and then just I lay down it. and get just get Ecuadorian dog kisses. It's gonna yeah. it's gonna be awesome, and then probably a tetanus shot, but. Yeah, but I can't, but it's worth it. I love the animals. And so uh, whenever people buy my stuff or they donate at shows or they follow, you know, for my birthday, we do the Facebook yeah. things. Um, over the pandemic, my fans, you awesome people, raised close to $14,000, which didn't, wow. even, it didn't go to me. It goes directly to the charities, and I love you for that. Yeah. And so even while I was out of work and we were all sitting at home, we did great things for the animals, yeah. and that was great. And so... So thank you. So another way to raise money, you, you have custom made jewelry. When did that start? We you, do. You well, we so don't much stuff. No, I, I do a lot of stuff, man. <laughs> I, I don't spend all day in the. You would think I'd get nothing done with it. With, with, with a place like this. Yeah, right. No, we get a lot done. It, it takes. It, it costs a lot to keep this full, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I am a jewelry designer. I love designing things like that. I have my par my my partner Carmelo Calazzo, wonderful one of Italy's premier jewelry craftsmen and designers. Uh, he's my partner. We make rock and jewelry. We do awesome things. Uh, we put, uh, you know, D quality diamonds and real emeralds and real rubies in skulls and 14 karat gold and 18 karat gold and just do the really cool rock jewelry that nobody really does. Um, and I love that stuff. And we, we really make some really cool stuff as well. I have uh, the Monsters of Rock Crews. We make their jewelry. Um, a lot of it's sterling silver. We do all of the, the picks and the different necklaces and things. And uh, people love it. And you can even go on the Monsters of Rock site this year and get our jewelry where you couldn't before. Now they have it in stock and uh, go on their site and ask for it. You can get some of the jewelry and wear it um, you know, on, as you board the cruise. So, uh, but thank you, the jewelry is fun. And of course, everything I do, again, a portion goes to the No Kill Animal Shelters. That's right. Ecuador. Um, Ecuador. And, 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 and everywhere, you know, if I'm in a certain city as well, yeah. and I do it there, I try to leave it there. Yeah. But um, sometimes I'm on a mission for good old Pennsylvania. And there's a particular one, the Palmerton, Cat Rescue, which does really, really tough work, and I, I'm currently supporting, they're my current, um, yeah. you know, teacher's pet nun. Yeah. And so not many people may know this, but you're also a bit of a musician. A bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in between, in between jewelry <laughs> design, talking with Sam Wall in my pool, and doing things, yeah, occasionally I do, yeah, pick up a guitar or a microphone or some drumsticks, and yeah. I have been known to appear in, you know, in some places. So how many different projects would you say you're juggling at the moment with that? I mean, I don't, that's a good question. You always have on the back burner. I do. Like, back burner, front burner, burner there's always, always something burning. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Um, right now, actually, I am rehearsing to do the to headline at Hard Rock Hell, yeah. which is the full electric set, 90 minutes of, you know, of just atomic bomb blowing up, which was very different than the previous tour, which was playing acoustic. I've only recently learned how to play, so I always have somebody who really knows how to play along with me, and I had a great, great time. But now it's the full show. And so I'm sort of prepping for that, yeah. as well as, you know, we're always booking, always doing things and rehearsing yeah. and recording and writing. And, uh, but I have to get back out on the road. Um, I was very tired, couldn't wait to get home, was home for about two days, couldn't wait to get back on the road. Yeah. So um, um, I, I'm, I'm, always good. Um, I'm Yeah, absolutely. And I'm yeah. packed and ready to go. So the next big one, I believe, is in Sheffield, England. And then, of course, uh, we are doing Rock Timber, which is really cool, in September. And where is that? That is in Italy, Italy, Minnesota. Italy, Minnesota. There you go. Yes. Wow. It's in stereo. I love it. Hickley, Minnesota. A lot of awesome bands at that one. Big festival. Really looking forward to that one. And uh, a lot of things going on next year. So, uh, so far, so good. So give a quick rundown of who you found for your solo band. Because the energy is great. I've seen you other couple of times. Oh, my God. You know, you oh, my right gosh. Around, oh, my God. Fred Gorl on guitar. You know, he, he's awesome. He plays, of course, with Wizards of Winter. Yeah. Um, and he's just, I mean, he's great. He's, uh, you know, wonderful. I've got Mark Doobie on the bass, who was, uh, he was a professional uh actually a professional football player he's a real big guy and so and he's from canada and i always like to sort of pick on the big guys and sort of beat them up in concert try and knock them down and i you made them that video yeah well like well that's that's a, that's a different well that wasn't on purpose i'm just very animated that's another story but mark is a big guy and he's really sweet to me and he would never really kick my ass so i once made the mistake and i was having a great time and i tried to body check him and knock him over and he's from canada and i made the you don't body check a canadian because yeah. they grow up playing hockey and he made one little move like like a black belt with his foot and i went flying and he knew the defensive block because he's from canada so now next time i took his shirt i pulled it over his head like the next time hockey player. you have to you know but he's great and of course i've got the character you know paulie hollywood del Baccio on the drums yeah. and he's probably been in the band the longest and I just love him. He's a character. He's a great drummer. He's a great singer. But the, my favorite times are with him 
off stage. He's just one of my favorite people, really animated. We call him Hollywood because he grew up, his dad was a very famous cameraman who uh, filmed The Planet of the Apes and he was, uh, he did the shows The Partridge Family, which I love, I have their logo here. And uh, so he's got all sorts of really cool stories and Hollywood things and he grew up with, you know, the, you know, the, the Adams family, he would ride his bicycle on the, the movie sets and things. He's just got the greatest stories and he's, he's a character, I love him. And then we have Charlie Calv on keyboards sometimes. He's in Angel. I'm sharing him with Angel, which is hard to do. They have a very full schedule. Yeah. But I've known Charlie for about, gosh, 25 years. He does my publishing. He's a great, great guy. He has a hand in almost everything I do, and I just love him. He keeps, he's so calm and nice, and when I lose my mind, I just, he keeps me even. Nice. And, and that's, that's the nice. guys. And it's a great band. We're friends, which is nice. That's always a plus. It's, it's, you have to be. <laughs> you have to be. Um, I love the guys, and again, we rehearse here, we have a great time, we go swimming, and, and it's just a good thing. And then when I go overseas, I love to bring them, and when tickets are too expensive or it's prohibitive, I still go over and I use bands. I'll have Midnight City backing me in Sheffield, England. Yeah. I have Degreed, I love Degreed. Um, the one here, oh, I love it. Degreed in Belgium, they were great. So I have a lot of friends around the world that I use when, I, when necessary. But I love my, my friends here, and we've seen them, and they're they're, they're really really great. Love them. So are you just focusing on electric this year, or are you also going to try to throw in some acoustic? No, I love the acoustic things? stuff. That's my new passion. Since I played guitar, I just love it. I can't stay away from it. Not good at it, but I just can't stay away from it. Yeah, I'm learning. I love. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, but uh, the acoustic stuff, I love very much. It fills in um, between the bigger things, um, electric shows, and then I love flying to festivals. Uh, but I do a lot of charity work with the acoustic stuff. Yeah. It's easier for me to just do it. You open up a guitar case, you pull out a guitar, and nice people sing along, and uh, if it's for the animals, they throw the money in the case, and then I send it to the Palmerton Cat Rescue. And uh, it's fun. But yeah, the acoustic stuff's great. And now that that's in my life, I, I just love it. I play all night, and yeah. it's just, I figure out, so I just love it. It's, it's my new passion. Have you found a song that you're not able to strip down yet? Because like I didn't think that you'd be able to strip down horny SOB, but somehow, <laughs> somehow isn't that a cool? Up. We I, I'm the strippingest man. We, it's a Paulie's Pool House. We strip down. It, it's not always easy, but we get the, the down stripped. But um, thank you. And and it was I think I was just messing around with Fred one day, and he was sort of playing it slow. I said, do that. I said that's so cool. It sounded really swampy, you know, really yeah. like like bluesy and swampy, and um. He started doing that and I started just singing it really slow and we loved it. And, and, it, and so I said, you know what, let's, and of course I probably surprised him. We had an unplanned at a show and I probably said, let's do that thing we did at my house. And he hates when he loves to rehearse. Yeah. And I love to just throw people off. I love to. Well, here in the winter, yeah, they probably yeah. have that. Well, oh my God, he's so, oh, he's so, he loves to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. Yeah. And, and, that, and so do I, but I also love to just see what happens, you know? And so we were in front of people and I said, remember that thing we did do that? And he got to look like, but he knows we could pull it off. And we did, and it was so cool. And thank you for noticing because it's tough to take a really powerful, <laughs> yeah, a really balls to the wall song and then you strip it down. So you don't want to do the same version slow. What you want to do is completely changing. And that's what yeah. we did and it became a fun, I love playing it. And we opened with that full band, Electric. Yeah. It's a great opener, but then it's also really cool to completely fuck it up play it slow with a different vibe, and I love that. So thank yeah. you, glad you noticed, cool. because I thought that was kind of cool. So has there been one that you aren't able to yet, that you've tried and it hasn't worked, or? Uh, not yet, I, I, I love, you know, as long as you can do a different version, I think it's interesting. Yeah. You know, there are some songs that you want to just do an acoustic version, you know, bang, bang, you don't want to take too much artistic license with that or with Naughty Naughty, because people love to sing it. So there are different songs, you know, yeah. different reasons for doing things, but then, so if there's a deeper cut, or sometimes I like to play something in a way where maybe you don't even know what that is, and then it's like, oh, it's that song. Yeah. And that, you know, sort of surprise people. It has to be fun for me as well, you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, more than not, I love to, you know, when it requires singing along, you stick to the script, you know? Yeah. So all, all the times I've seen you, it's been PA shows, been like local, you know, 30 minute sets. What does a 90 minute set look like from Ted Polo? Oh my god, it looks like it just right, it happens right before a heart attack. That's what it, it looks a lot like this. Clear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very messy, very sweaty. It's awesome. Um, I'll let you know because usually about a 70 is about as long as I like to go. But uh, it'll be, you we'll know. We'll keep you posted. Yeah, well, a 10 minute drum solo perhaps. <laughs> well, yeah, Hollywood. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood, he's going to get up, he's going to tell Hollywood stories for about 20 minutes. No, it should be, even I don't, it's so super secret, even I don't know how I'm going to fill those 90 minutes, but 
I love fun too. It was some deep, deep danger cuts that you would never hear danger yeah. even play live. So maybe something that I'll pull out of my ass from the past, maybe a cool cover, but um, whatever it is, you can bet it will be live, sweaty, and, and awesome. And because my band at Midnight City will be doing that one yeah. um, in England, and they have a great new album out themselves. They have a great career, friends of mine. Rob Wilde is the singer. He was uh, playing with me through that first acoustic leg of the tour this year. Um, and he was great. We had a really nice time. And my friend Kim was there. Hi, Kim. She oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, Kim is what a singer. Wow, what a singer. We sang, the first night I saw her, I believe we played, you know, the, uh, what's the Lemmy's, Lemmy's Club? The, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the Motorhead. Oh, my gosh. And I heard her sing and I just, I, I wanted to leave. <laughs> so that's it. She's amazing, right? Yeah. So Kim, shout out to you. It was great touring with you. Hope to see you again. But check you her out. Come to the pool. Oh, well, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a horny kid, man. <laughs> Good choice, though. Anyway, back back to the show. <laughs> no, don't cut that. You keep that. You're keeping that, Kim. All right, anyway. We, we cut nothing at Paulie's Pool House. This is it. Not even the director's cut? <laughs> the director's Five cut. Yeah. Of... Yeah, yeah, three hours of, of pre-production for this. <laughs> but it was worth it. This is all CGI. This is not even a pool. Not actually a pool. I can't, Rick's I can't, not even here. <laughs> no, Rick is somewhere out in Minnesota. He's actually, that's my hologram. That's the hologram. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so back to where were we? <laughs> you know, I, uh, he got no, very lost on my That's okay. I'm sure people are they're, they're, they're tuned, they tuned out five minutes ago. It's, we're good. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, I've been watching your show. You're having fun. I love the I'll one. With, I love the show with Vix and those ladies are out of control. Love you girls. It was great. Yeah. Um, and here we are. You know what? We should have a Vix and pool party next time. Okay. Roxy, bring the ladies over. Yeah, 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 Rick, yeah. no clapping. That was security. You're supposed to be seamless. You're breaking the fourth wall of show business. <laughs> anyway. Vixen, I think next time you're going to bring, they love you. I said, you had such a great time. Reason. They love you, and uh, you're going to bring them down, and uh, we're going to have a Vixen pool party right here at, at Polly's answers. Pool House, and it's going to be awesome. You're floating, I think you're floating out of the scene. I think this, is how <laughs> I think this whole interview is probably just me speaking to this <laughs> banister, but we will review, and we'll be right back. Please support your local no-kill animal shelters. I'm here with Sam Wall, right here at Polly's Pool House. So I want to talk to you a bit about the cruise because you are like a fixture of it now. You're the captain. You're Ted Poley. Monsters of Rock. Yeah, I love the theme song. Yeah. I love it. The best people in the world. We sail. We go on vacation together once a year. And um, yeah, it's, it's one of the greatest rock and roll experiences you can have. Great people. You go on vacation. You see bands every hour. Yeah. Um, and it's a really great way you get up close and personal. You can meet a lot of these people. Um, and you know, even do things like island touring with them, or play sports with them, or you know, it's really cool up close and personal. Um, and I love it, and uh, hope to be on again this year. And um, like I said, I never know with which bands I've been on with Danger Danger with Tokyo Motor Fist as a solo artist, and yeah. uh, maybe I'll do some acoustic things this year. I don't know, but yeah, I look forward to taking a vacation with some of the best people in the world every year. Monsters of Rock Cruise. Um, I love it, yeah. So how is it to kind of be like the guy on it? Because like people, when, <laughs> when they announce you, they're like, well, yeah, obviously we figured Ted Poley would be there. Be well, they, there they call me the captain, but they yeah. don't let me take the ship home. That, that's for sure. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> See, I love, that's, that's, that's positive. You're a positive guy. No, um, it's a blessing. I, I just, I, people, they get me for some reason. Some people don't and some do, and I just am myself, and uh, they get a kick out of it for some reason. And. Uh, and I love it. I I, uh, I hope that I'm on every year. Some years you have to take a year off. Uh, can't be on every year, but it's like a great dream. I just want to do it again and again. Yeah. It's like when you get off a, a great roller coaster and you can't wait to get right back yeah. on again. Um, and that's the way I feel. We just did it. And next year, I think they're going, this year they're going to Jamaica, which I love. It's like another home away from home. And I sure hope that I'm on this year, possibly. And uh, that's a hit. Yeah, well, I listen to that. Well, we'll see what happens. But I sure hope that I am, and uh, thank you for asking, because the monsters are some of the coolest people in the world, and it's also neat, because when I tour around the States, they're very supportive. I always have a few monsters from that yeah. cruise coming down. I see a lot of the shows. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. After several years of that, they've been very supportive, so that's made a big difference in my ability to get around the USA yeah, as a solo artist, because, yeah. uh, you know, the monsters will show up for me, and I love that. It's cool. Thank you. Yeah, monsters rock. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, wait, stop. Security is indicating. That means that there might have been some paparazzi when we do this, all the skylights, they know when I do this, and they come around uh, with helicopters sometimes, so we better wrap this up. And Sam, you're awesome. I know that everybody watching is going to help support their local no-kill animal shelters. Um, and thank you so much, man. I, 
I hope we can do this again someday. You're looking a little shell shocked. I'm not sure if you'll be back. I, I hope you will be. We don't know what this was, but I'm glad you came. I know we're, we're going to have some barbecue. We're going to make you dinner. And uh, I think we've got to get out of here because uh, I think the paparazzi are coming in. So we'll cut this short. And uh, Sammy, everybody out there, thanks. This has been a real honor. And uh, please support this guy up and coming. The show is great. Most of the shows are a lot better than this one, and we and we love you out there. So I'll see you on the road, and we gotta go because they've spotted us. We'll see you next time. Well, this has been a productive conversation. Ted had to run out because he thought that we saw some paparazzi, and he does not like paparazzi. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Ted for having me over. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Anymore. But, oh, <laughs> oh, yes, it lived. Oh, no. You see that by the water? That was some quality fucking stunt flying right there. You thought it was going in.